All right, guys, this week we're gonna do lessons from the road. I'm gonna to talk to you about why you're adding loft through impact. All right, guys, I've been out on the road teaching for a few weeks now, and a really common issue I see is the player that is adding loft through impact, hitting it too high, not getting anywhere near the distance they want, messed up spin rates. So I'm gonna to talk to you about a few of the main reasons that I see this happen. Okay, first thing that you notice a lot of players do, okay, is they get into a condition where they start tilting back, throwing their low point back, and adding loft through impact, right? So we notice that a lot of players do that because of what they're doing with their shaft in the downswing, right? If a player gets vertical, a good way to compensate out of that is to start tilting their body back. That puts the club head in a position where it's more behind the hands and gives them a chance to get into impact with a functional position. Now the problem is you're gonna find that player who's tilting back here, throwing their arm angles, right? When the arm angles get thrown, players oftentimes get the club head passing the hands, there's too much loft, spin rate gets thrown off, you see the really high golf ball that doesn't go anywhere, okay? It may stop fast on the green, but it's not the way that we want to achieve the goal. Another common reason that I see players get into a position where they're adding too much loft is that the club face gets open, right? If we're coming down here, a good way to square it up is to throw that angle through impact, right? That gives them a chance to hit a straighter shot, but once again, we are in a position where the club face is adding too much loft. So, easy ways to fix that, right? Learn what proper shaft pitch is supposed to feel like. You can get into a position where you're sitting there in a mirror and just feel the club head falling behind the hands in transition. Okay, if this position is happening, it's going to give you the ability to turn through the golf ball and just hit it and get compression on it and get the loft down. Now, if you're still in a position where you're adding, where you have trouble with the club face, right? And you're still adding loft because of that, we need to understand what that club face should look like. Okay, when you're coming down, you wanna feel that the club face is starting to toe down, right? So this matches my spine angle in my downswing. That is one of the keys to making sure that the club face is under control early, right? There are several good players who can turn it down late, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if you can get into a position where that club face matches the spine angle in the downswing, now you're in position to just rotate through impact, get the lead arm ahead, get that compression and hit down on it. Another good functional matchup that a lot of players do, more cow is a great example of this, he turns down late, okay? So the club face is more toe up and then you'll see that late turn down. That would be a player who's getting that wrist to curl down towards impact. So if you're still not aligned by club parallel in the downswing, you can still feel that wrist rotate down, curl down, and that will give you the condition that you want to get the compression on the golf ball and keep turning through it, right? Now, some players are going to have to sit here even after they get everything in, in, in order and learn how to rotate through it. A great drill for that, I don't have one on me right now, would be to put an alignment stick through the shaft, put it underneath the lead side, so it would look like this, right underneath here, and just practice hitting little half shots. You're gonna to wanna to go back, make sure the face is under control, the club head is just behind the hands, and keep rotating on that shot, right? That's gonna make sure that everything lines up and you really feel the body continuously rotating, right? One of the keys to getting the handle ahead is feeling that the chest will open through impact and put you in a proper position to hit the shot that you wanna hit. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helps you get everything under control, stop adding loft, and I wanna thank Old Hickory Golf Club for hosting us here today on this beautiful smoky day here in Northern Virginia. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.